Welcome to the MTI Player Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will go over how to access rehearsal tracks on iOS devices. First, you will need your rehearsal code. This code is specific to your organization's production and was emailed to your organization's admin. Once the MTI Player application has been downloaded from the App Store, opening the app will display this login page. Enter the rehearsal code into the password line, leaving the username blank. Press Login. On the main menu, tap Shows. Here the show will be listed with an RT in the title. This signifies that these tracks are rehearsal tracks. Tap on the show title to see the playlist of tracks. To download the tracks, tap Download All in the top right-hand corner. If you would like just a few tracks downloaded, click on each track title separately. Once the tracks have finished downloading, you will no longer need a Wi-Fi connection to listen to the tracks. Having an active Wi-Fi connection while playing the tracks may lead to interference. Tapping on a song title will open the playback page. The show's title is at the top, followed by the song title. Beneath the song title are three buttons, one for selecting the previous track, one for pressing play or pause, and one for selecting the next track. Beneath these buttons are three sets of numbers. The top left number will note the elapsed time of the track. The bottom left number will note the track's total time length, and the bottom right number will note the time remaining. Beneath these time markers is a notes section where notes can be made for future reference. The bottom of the screen has three buttons, repeat, continue, and fade. If repeat is selected, the track will play again on a loop until the repeat button is tapped again. If continue is selected, the next track will begin as soon as the current track has finished playing. If fade is pressed while a track is playing, the current track playing will begin to fade out. The next track will immediately queue up and be available to play. This feature is useful when the next cue needs to be played as soon as possible. The fade time can be adjusted if the default time is too long or too short. Tap on the Settings symbol in the bottom right corner. This will bring up the App Settings section of the app. Here, the fade length time can be adjusted. Tap the box and enter the time desired. Please note that the fade length entered here will affect all tracks in the playlist. Once the desired time has been entered, tap Save Settings. If the settings are not saved, the adjusted fade length will erase and default back to 3 seconds. If you require access to multiple shows and their rehearsal tracks, you will need to create a personal login on the app. To create a personal account, choose Create a Personal Account at the bottom of the login page. Fill in the requested information and press Sign Up. If you have created a personal username but cannot remember it, please click on one of the retrieval options and follow the steps requested. Once a personal account has been created, navigate to the Rehearsal Track Access page. In any web browser, go to player.mtishows.com rehearsal. On the left side of the screen is a box titled App Access. Enter the personal username and the rehearsal code. Press Add Code. A box will appear that reads, The rehearsal code has been added. Repeat this process until all rehearsal codes have been added. Return to the MTI Player application to play the tracks. If they do not appear immediately, ensure that you are on a strong Wi-Fi connection and hit the Refresh button in the top left-hand corner of the show's page. This concludes the iOS Rehearsal Track Access Tutorial. If you have any further questions, feel free to visit our FAQ page at player.mtishows.com FAQ or reference our tutorial series. Thank you for watching and have a great show.